Hello Gcon users. In this small video, I'm going to show you how to create BI friendly reports. So what does it mean BI friendly reports? Those reports are designed to be compatible with business intelligence or BI tools. When you talk about BI tools, you talk about Tableau, Microsoft Power BI, Data Studio, or Looker, and many other tools. And these tools allow you to uh, visualize your data set, create nice dashboard, and to do analysis, to build any modeling, including, let's say, cash flow, cash flow forecasting. So what are you going to do? You will select extensions. Gcon for QuickBooks and under our section get accounting data and reports this session we usually use we usually use to do downloads downloads reports data and um, different type of reports and in this case we will scroll down and we will select BI friendly reports and in this section you will see most um, uh, used I want to say reports and which you will be using to build this you know, BI uh, dashboards. Uh, it's account list, it's balance sheet, cash flow, cash transaction. Those will be uh, extremely useful to use for your uh, cash flow modeling or forecasting. Detailed transaction report. PNL transaction list. So I want to show you in, uh, today detailed transaction reports. <laughs> so <clears throat> in this case, uh, we will select as I select the detailed transaction report. We can nicely move detailed transaction and select a little bit bigger range. So let's say I will pull data from July 1st. I will keep October end of October. Uh, I will put all transaction, uh, all accounts based on the type and uh, transaction type again. I need everything, bill, checks, credit cards, everything. And then I will um, select, uh, I will open and show you uh, change pool settings and in this case I probably want to add last time updated report and I will add uh, company name if eventually I want to pull detailed transaction report for different entities but for now I will click on execute and what we did now, we create detailed transaction report and you, I'm going to show you uh, what we add into this report compared to regular detailed transaction report. You will see internal IDs. So this ID, IDs allow you to uh, generate more advanced report and uh, create queries using this internal ID. It's more, we call it like advanced queries. And as soon as this report will be generating, you can see the result. So eventually you will remove probably title from this report. And as you can see, what we have all account transaction data. And in the end, we add a lot of IDs. It's a class ID, it's a payment method ID, it's account internal ID, company ID. So it's a lot of ID to which help you to create advanced queries in your BI tools. And as usual way, uh, when you set up set of your reports, having all these IDs, you will not forget to create automation. It's our regular way how you create automation for all your reports. You create workflows. You create workflows. You select the name of the workflow. And in our case, it will be detailed transaction report. You will refresh it, let's say, at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Daily refresh. And I will set up schedule 7 a.m. And my next step, don't forget to add your detailed transaction in this case. 
to the right side so this is only one report but it will be uh, probably for your solution you will have set of reports it can be transaction list it can be p l balance sheet cash transaction uh, cash transaction report and then you create workflow all right try uh, play around we are open for your feedback and as usual if you need to reach us send us a mail at uh, support at econ.services thank you